my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright guys, so let's step into Photoshop and then Ctrl N for our new document. Alright, so we are typing here 1275 and then 1275 and then we'll keep the resolution 300. We're starting here to pixels, pixels per inch and then let's call it school anniversary flyer all right so we'll keep it like this click on create and then let's go to view let's go to new guide layout and then we'll set here to one we'll set here to also one if it's not showing click over here and click over here make sure it's ticked and then click on the margin set here to 0 0.25 set here to 0 0.25 do the same thing to this and do the same thing to this as well and then click on ok you're going to have this nice rulers in your document i'm going to pull this as well over here now let's start with our background and with our background i want us to start with a bucky i'm going to drag this one in there something like this and then transform it give it some vignette let's create a new layer pick our brush to set it to soft round brush and then also make sure our opacity and then our flow is 100 100 percent click over here and change the color to color black and i want you to just place it over here so now let's set the opacity to 40 percent awesome let's see great now let's bring in this image as well and then let's transform it we can always come back and then work on it as i always say give it a mask reduce the brush size and then just mask this side now let's go here and let's set it to soft light so it's in there it and then let's move it up a little bit we could increase it just slightly a little bit also let's give it a hue and saturation and then let's set here to minus six five all right just to change the color and that is all let's put everything in a folder and then let's call it bg nice now let's bring our model in there Let's go and then let's drag the model in there as well. Drag her down like this. Try and keep her in the middle. Let's give it a level. Clip it to the image. Set here to 39. Alright, now let's set here to 0 0.97. Let's leave here like this. And that is all all right now let's also give it a hue and saturation clip it to it keep the hue zero but then for the saturation keep it minus or three and also keep this one 11. now i want you to duplicate the model now the copy down drag it up Right, so let's go to the blending modes and let's set it to linear burn great give it a mask and then pick your brush also make sure it's a soft round brush over here the opacity under the flu 100 here is color black click on the mask your caps log is off click on the mask here the caps log is off and then increase the size we want to just mask the head that's all just the face and the head that's all a little bit around the neck area that is it so that way it affects only the body but not the face create a new layer go to your gradient tool come over here and set it to this and then click double click here and set it to black double click here and set it to black hold shift and then drag it down like that now I want you to reduce the opacity to 35. Now let's see whether the effect is in there. 
okay so it's in there somewhere i want us to give it a new solid color and let's choose this particular code five six zero one five e okay now from here all the way to here let's put it in a folder let's call it model i want us to click here right click it and then create clipping mask awesome let's set it to overlay all right guys so let's open the background and then with this one let's give it a mask and then let's click on our brush and then set here to color black and then let's clean this side you also want to click over here give it a new layer increase the size a little bit click over here and choose color white click around here set it to lighten and then let's reduce the opacity drastically so let's reduce the opacity to around 25 percent and then that is it now we're going to start with our text click on your text tool and then type over here one now go to your character we are going to use the font mermaid and then you're going to set it to bold for the font size let's increase it drastically to three five seven let's move it in there this is great let's leave everything like this and let's give it italics over here now i want us to go to the fill and reduce the fill to zero double click on the one go to stroke set it to white click on ok the size set it to five choose outside normal 100 percent white over here click on ok nice now put it in a folder let's call the folder one so i want you to click on the folder and then let's drag it somewhere here this is quite great now close the one give it the folder a mask choose your brush to reduce the size of the brush you are using a soft round brush set the opacity and then the flow to 100 100 each and then make sure here is color black come here and click on the mask and then just mask the edges let's duplicate it open it zero let's also name it zero over here close it delete the mask and give it a new mask now click over here and let's move it somewhere here now click on the mask click on your brush go here and choose a hard round brush and then let's delete the strokes inside awesome now i want us to transform it and then let's bring it in a little bit just bring it in a little bit great also the one let's bring in a little bit okay okay now on the mask of the zero increase the size of the brush a little bit let's go for a soft brown brush and then let's clean this side or let's mask this side okay let's push one here a little bit and so this is how you create this all right so the next thing is to bring our detail so let's click here and then let's pick years and then paste it there now i want us to reduce the font size to 35 we are still using mermaid and we are still using bold let's click on the move tool and then move it down here and then let's duplicate it and bring it down let's pick the rest of the details which is of quality education let's paste it there let's reduce the font size to 10 let's move it up okay now let's bring both down here 
now let's put it in the folder and then let's give the folder a layer style go to drop shadow set it to black set it to multiply set the angle to 90 degree you also want to set it to 100 percent and then let's set here to five set here to nine let's set here to four and then let's click on okay all right so as you can see it is in there come and click here again and then let's pick set bunny and then let's paste it there drag it here now we are going to use a different font we are going to use prime time set it to regular set it to 10 also click over here to take it off click over here doesn't really matter though set the color to color white and then let's bring our lines let's keep it in the middle international school duplicate this one and let's paste it there bring it somewhere here so let's change the font to railway let's set it to regular for the font size we are using 4.6 clicking over here to make all caps and then let's set the tracking to 80 change it to color white and then let's drag it somewhere here zoom in and make sure it's in the middle of the whole mix awesome let's go and bring our logo okay so now let's put everything in a folder and then let's call it cool logo now let's keep it in the middle and then we are left at one more thing let's bring in uh, the name of the head teacher over here let's tap over here and then let's pick Lemophilia copy now come here and change it to railway and then let's set a font size to seven i also want you to drag it all the way up here click on the move to and then move it somewhere here I'll go to paragraph and set it to this right aligned come back to character make sure the italics is off you also want to keep it bold over here and then the track and set it to zero color white let's drag it somewhere here duplicate it and bring it down let's choose headmistress copy and paste it we are still using real weight, but we are going to use light to make it quite nicer. So the same, maintain everything here like that. And then duplicate it. And then let's choose this one. And let's paste it there. Open your character and let's change the font size to 5. Zoom in. And let's drag it up okay so this is quite great drag this one here and then let's pick our rectangular tool and then let's draw something like this let's set the stroke to this let's set the color of the field to white let's zoom in and let's bring it down give it a mask click on the mask set here to color black choose your brush set here to a soft round brush opacity and flow 100 make sure caps lock is off and then let's just mask it now let's put it in a folder and let's call it Mrs. Ophelia 
ok come and click over here what's this <laughs> let's call this yes all right click over here and then go and pick your confetti and drag it in there let's resize it drag it somewhere here something like this give it a mask also choose your brush mask it Alright guys, so this is how you create this um, anniversary flyer for any school. If you love this video, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well guys. I love you all. Don't forget to share this video, like this video and comment down below as well. See you in the next tutorial guys. Peace!